you guys, this video is about the anticipation of the Panasonic GH4. In my hands is my baby, the Panasonic GH2. I love this camera, I'm very enthusiastic about this camera, as I am about the entire series, GH series of cameras by Panasonic, fantastic cameras. I love this little baby so much, and I've been wanting to get a Panasonic GH3, but I don't think I am going to do so just yet because of the possibility of the GH4. Now, I'm gonna get into all of the details about the rumor of what the GH4, the rumors of what the GH4 could be, plus I'm gonna get into the details of the sensor that Panasonic has announced. And this is what's very exciting. They recently announced a 4K sensor that matches precisely the rumors for what the, the Panasonic GH4K could be. Okay, let's have a look at some of the key features of the sensor announced by Panasonic. So firstly, we have a new on-chip filter for improved sensitivity. We're going to have high resolution stills. And hopefully we're going to have a lot more dynamic range. Now, regarding the dynamic range, I did some research online and I found some interesting things. Firstly, at EOHD, here's the link right here, great site, highly recommended. There's also a link in the description below. I found a very, very interesting comparison comparing this new sensor to the sensor of the GX7. They have the same pixel count and various other attributes are the same. This might mean that the potential GH4 with this sensor would have a dynamic range of 12 and a half stops, which is pretty significant. It's higher than the 5D Mark II, so that's pretty awesome. However, I also went to wolfcrow.com, very, very good site, also highly recommended. Here is the link right here, as well as in the description below. And at wolfcrow.com, he compares the potential GH4 to the Blackmagic cinema camera. Very, very interesting comparison that I'm sure lots of you would be interested in. So definitely check out Wolfcrow's comparison there. But in his idea of what the GH4 might be, he reckons only around 10 or, or 10 and a half stops of dynamic range. At this stage, we're really not sure because this is a rumored camera, we're not sure. So we're kind of working uh, our information out based on this new chip and based on this chip being part of the GH4. But more information will come to light in the future. But he reckons 10 and a half stops of dynamic range. But either way, I reckon we, we're gonna have more dynamic range with this camera. And we have the lowest noise sensor in the market. Awesome. And we have, of course, 4K. 4K, wonderful. Now, for more information, you can check out the specifications right here. Here's a little glance at it. I'm not going to go through all of the specifications right now. You can take a look at the link below to link to the specifications and check them out at your own leisure. But now let's quickly go through the rumored specs of the GH4. Here we go. Okay, let's look at these rumored specifications. First and foremost, we have 4K at 24p, 25p, and 30p. We have a 16 megapixel sensor with full pixel readouts. We have 10 bit 422 codec, lightly AVC Ultra. Awesome, broadcast quality codec, it's brilliant. We have 200 megabits MP4, ALL, and 100 megabit IPB options. So we have an adapter that sits on the camera that has four 3G HD SDI and two XLR ports. We have up to 30 frames per second in 4K mode. We have OLED monitor, 100 million dots. We have 21 millimeter OLED viewfinder with three million dots. We have a form factor that we love, nice and small and awesome to use, and we have time code. So these are some powerhouse specs that would really be a game changer, which the Panasonic GH cameras are known to be. And all this at a rumored price of $2,999. I'm super excited about this. Now, either way, I'm super enthusiastic and super excited to see what Panasonic has in store for us next year. Now, if you have the same level of anticipation for Panasonic's new camera as I do, please like the video, subscribe to the video if you found the video useful at all. Please consider liking or subscribing. I would appreciate that. And also, I do have a couple of videos that I did reviewing the GH2. I did some night shooting and documentary style shooting. So you can check out the links to those videos coming up at the end of my speaking, which is right now, don't worry. And also, all the links to everything that I mentioned uh, regarding EOS Mark and Wolf Crow, as well as the, 
the information regarding the sensor that's been released by Panasonic or in the description below if you want more information. So I really hope you found this video useful. My anticipation is great. I can't wait for you, GH4. GH4. I can't wait for you. I can't wait for you. I can't wait for you. Thank you very much. Signing out. See you next time. Goodbye.